The first thing you need to ask yourself if you're thinking of becoming a doctor is why. Are you entering medicine to make money? If so, look somewhere else. In order to become a doctor, you have to do 13 years of school, including kindergarten, then four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, and a minimum of three years in residency. So that means you'll be spending the first 24 years of your life in school, and it will cost you between $200,000 and $250,000, which will take you 15 to 30 years to pay back. So if you're in it for the money, look for something else. In my opinion, medicine, especially primary care, is a calling. Kind of like the priesthood, where you sacrifice yourself for others. So think long and hard before you take those first steps. If being a doctor is still the only option, then do it smart. You should have prepared yourself in junior high, high school, and college to learn how to learn. Meaning you'll learn to memorize random facts you will never use again. You're building the stamina that you'll need in order to finish your career. Be sure to round off all those academics with activities that bring you pleasure, for the road is long and arduous. Keep a healthy lifestyle. Don't smoke, don't drink, exercise, eat good food. You're going to be telling people over and over again not to do those things, and you should set an example. Being a doctor is not just about academics. You also have to learn how to talk to people, communicate with them, convince them that what you're saying is a good idea. Take courses in public speaking, sales, hospitality, and social media, because in the end, what you provide is a service, and what people are paying for is not only the knowledge in your head, but your personality. Learn about medical coding, billing, insurance contracting, and business management. Choose your electives in high school, undergrad, and medical school wisely. That way, you round off your medical knowledge with practical knowledge. Then, think ahead with your goals. If you want to work in suburbia, getting into debt at a private institution makes no sense. Consider going to your state school and applying for academic scholarships. But if the goal is to be a consultant at a prestigious hospital, do it smart or be lucky. After finishing undergrad at Johns Hopkins in medical school and residency at the Mayo Clinic, I realized big city living wasn't for me. I chose to be a pediatrician in suburbia, but I had been lucky. It was only after I got into Mayo Medical School that I learned that all 40 students got a 50% tuition scholarship and Florida, Minnesota, and Arizona residents qualified for an in-state tuition because there are clinics in each of those states. Most of us spend all our lives in the trenches trying to do what's best for our patients with the hope that we'll get paid for the work that we do. But hope doesn't put food on the table or send your kids to college. Be financially smart when you're getting your MD. Now, if you're planning on marrying and starting a family, you will not know guilt until you have to leave your sleeping children at home or come home hours after they've been put to bed because you've been caring for other people's children or families. Plan ahead. Who will provide care for your children when you're at the hospital? And start saving for college as soon as your kids are born. By the time they graduate, you will hopefully be making enough money that they will not qualify for financial aid, so that burden will lay on you. Try not to overspend when you're young. Live in a smaller house. Pay off your debt. Invest your money in passive income. Most of us burn out in our 50s. This job is not easy. If you asked me, would I do it again? I would say yes. I would do it smarter, but I would do it again.